Hi, my name is Mariana. I'll be your social worker for the day. How are you? Hey, Caleb. Good. Okay. Could be better. What's going on? I was beaten as a child. Okay. Um, how so? Just excessively when I would do something wrong, you know. I didn't think it was bad at the time, but it was like, instead of being one or two hits, it was like excessive, like many hits. So. Mm -hmm. And how good. long has this been going on? Ever since I can remember. Okay. And is it um, physical abuse only, or? Physical and mental. Call me stupid, or when I wouldn't be good enough, or if I didn't get good grades. If I would do something immature, but. You know, as a kid would do, mm -hmm. but it wasn't acceptable. And how do you think that this has affected you? Physically and mentally, you know, just, you know, as I grew up, I f feel that I haven't been as acceptable as I should, and, you know, I feel more immature because I'm still stuck in that mind state of being like an innocent child that did something wrong, but never realized that I could be better with encouragement, just, you know, I'd just been stuck on the same thing because all I've ever been was hit. Mm -hmm. And, um, who was hitting you? My mom and dad. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your family life like in terms of um, other members in the household? Good, but it has its highs and its lows, like any other family, but, you know, it's really good or it's really bad. Okay, so what does your family consist of? Who? My mom, my dad, me, and my little brother. Mm -hmm. In the home? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how old is your little brother? Eight. Okay. Um, do you feel that this has impacted him? Yeah. More yes. me towards him, too, because I'm not as patient towards him. Because I feel like I've only ever been, you know, no, no patience with my parents towards me, so I have no patience towards him. So I don't know how to cope or deal with his immaturity. But although um, I feel that I'm immature for not being able to cope with an eight year old, seems I'm, I'm older. And how do you think that this is affecting him now? He'll probably be the same way because of me and my parents. Okay, so this will affect him in the future? Most definitely, if it affected me, unless we can change it now. Okay, and um, how do you think that I can help you? Advice? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay, because... I don't know. Um, what we do here at our agency is um, basically we give you what you need. If you want to talk, I'm never going to tell you uh, what to do, who to talk. That's your choice. Um, I'm just here to give you the options. and. Whether you want to stay in the home, you want to make a change, that's up to you. Um, so I can give you some resources for next session if you want. But as of right now, um, if there are any reports, then we really can't do much. But if something does happen and someone or yourself does report it, we can follow up. Okay? Okay, so what do you think are your strengths? Independence, I guess. Being able to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. How so? Cooking, feeding myself when my parents go out. Mm -hmm. Helping my brother. And has this always been your lifestyle since you were younger? Or? Since I can remember, yeah. Okay. Um, so you feel that maybe you're kind of t parenting your little brother? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm getting from you, anyway. Um, what do you feel are his strengths? Being able to cope with mom and dad being gone all the time, and dealing with me and my short temper. Can you give me an example, maybe, on um, your short temper, as you described? If he asks me to make a food while I'm watching TV, I don't feel like it, and maybe I'll snap on him. Because I'm just so short tempered and used to my parents just having me do it myself, so I expect him to do it himself. Mm -hmm. and Stuff like that. And when you say snap, what are you referring to? Get mad, yell at him, scream, verbal abuse, I guess. 
And does it ever get physical? No, not okay. with me, but because I don't like physical, but I feel the screaming and yelling because it bothers me so much is just as bad. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'll fall in the footsteps of my parents. Yeah. With doing so. And where do you see yourself in the future? I don't know. Do you see yourself going to college? No. Okay, so uh, what are your plans then after you graduate high school in two years? Get a job, support myself, be independent for a while. And how do you plan on doing that? By getting a job. Financially? Um, do you have money to start out? No. Okay, so um, maybe we can try to focus here on uh, saving some money. Get, do you have a job now? No. Okay, well that can be a good start. We can focus on getting you a job. Um, we can work on your financial aspects and we can um, kind of help you save a certain amount of money. Help you um, so you can get to where you want to be in two years. Does mm -hmm. that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as of now, what do you think will happen next? I don't know. Okay. Um, do you feel that your little brother um, is going to stay in the home? Yeah. Okay. And is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm getting from you is that even though you feel your parents are sometimes um, abusive in certain ways, you do want the family to stay together. And you hope it'll work out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, that's... Yeah, again, there's nothing much we can do at this point. And as social workers, we want the family to stay together. Because if it can work, then we'll make it happen. Because if people are best, most likely, unless um, there's a real issue, I don't know, um, if we stay together. Because that's what everyone wants. And we want you guys to be happy. And really, as social workers, we are working for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if there's anything you're uncomfortable with, just tell me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, if you, like, how often do you speak to your parents? As often as I can. And, and when they have the time. Okay, so what is their situation? They just go out a lot. I don't know. Can you elaborate on where they go? Just go out, I guess. I don't know. So you're unaware of where they go? Yeah. I okay. Guess they just go out and tell me to watch my little brother. And how often do you think this is about, roughly? Every other night. You know. Together? Yeah, they go out together. We go out mm -hmm. to bar as well. Okay. And, um,. What is their employment situation? Work, like factory jobs. Both of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since they graduated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, I, uh, is there any other questions that you have for me? No. Okay. Just looking for sport. Okay. Well, basically I don't have anything to tell you because this is the initial visit. But what we have now is um, we can focus on trying to get you a financial plan. We can work on that. Once we get you a job, we'll see where your strengths and weaknesses are in terms of where you can work because you're still in high school. But we can find you a good job. And um, we can build your resume and cover letter, work on all that. And um, we're going to try to keep your family together. Okay. And we're going to go from there. Yep. Is that it? Yeah. Do you have any other questions? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you.